some would play. Harmonia is a water-bound land where the gods used to intervene in men's lives, but in this lifetime seem to have forsaken the land to the qualms between the Eris and the Enyo, who seem hell-bent on destroying each other. Since everyone is out for all they can get, the heroes have been banded together to find the three ancient artifacts for a wealthy yet young merchant. The artifacts are rumored to be spread throughout Harmonia, across the two lands belonging to the Eris and Nenyo. It may be hard to find them, as people are moving to the capitals in anticipation of the war games, the only thing that keeps full-scale war from occurring. Welcome to Some Would Play, featuring Rico. I am a half-elf paladin named Pan Halcyon. And Matt. I am a dragonborn monk named Ari Futan. Daphne. I am a halfling druid named Gelsira Venfire. And Jenna. I am a clerical elf named Lux Bellator. <laughs> I am your host, your dungeon master, Debra. Oh, All right, no, are we worst. ready for the Rico recap? No, I'm not even ready for the Rico recap. I don't remember what happened last game. I, yeah, I do remember. I always remember. You I always I hope remember. So, don't even it's Christ. time for the r- 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 Rico recap. <laughs> recap. All right, go. Okay, so um, we were leaving Suburma, and we were headed towards Kosanis after Kristoff told us about um, a oracle who'd be able to assist us finding the next treasure that we were looking for so as we left suburma we were walking on the road to um kosanis which i realized was a name of one of the cities that was on the map that i had seen in the dragonborn cave and as we were walking down down the road i guess towards kosanis we were What's the word I'm looking for? Beset on all sides by these giant <laughs> six foot lizard looking things. In a moment Wait, of, do we know that I'm knocked out? Yeah. I yeah. didn't get knocked out. The audience knows. The audience knows. They were they listened to the last episode. Wouldn't that be part of the Rico recap though? No. Oh. Because <laughs> that was technically the episode before that. Anyways, beset on all sides by what were the name of those creatures? Quasits. Quasits which are shape-changing, little reptilian-type-looking creatures. And Pan did his best to protect um, Lux after he had brained her with his uh, warhammer. <laughs> Jelsira turned into a giant ferocious bear, and Ari did some fantastic monk magic. And pretty soon, those creatures were swiftly dispatched, without any of us really breaking a sweat. After we fought those creatures, we came across a farmhouse. Um, In this farmhouse, we learned the history of the farmlands around, about which family's been there the longest, who was the best family, um, things of that nature. I got cock-blocked by Ari, which I was fantastic. So. No, you did. You totally cock-blocked Didn't we, me. Did a, is it, that the one me. where we... It was definitely Jelly, because I was yeah. all about going out and oh, helping was it in jelly the field that yeah, me? and fucking off. Oh, okay. My apologies. I was like, let's go do some work, <clears throat> and then I did some work, and, you know... Jelly totally cock-blocked living. Um, Pan. Um, so we did a little work on the farm. At least Ari did a little bit of work on the farm. Oh, yeah. Went out and helped I with... Did a ton of work. I was awesome. Yeah. Hay or crop or corn or whatever the hell crop they had didn't feel like we had much else to do yeah there really wasn't a whole lot to do let's go do and then we left that farmhouse and went past another farmhouse which we didn't even pay attention to we just fucked right off because we were trying to get to kosanas so we get into kosanas and we were informed that at the time of the day the best place to go is the prancing centaur which is uh eatery and inn where we all decided to go to rest for the evening um, on our way to find uh, Dion, Oracle of Kosanis, by way of Halas, who is the first contact that we are supposed to meet anytime we need to go to consult the oracles. So we got to the Princing Centaur, we got something to eat, we bedded down for the evening. Um, at the end of the 
Day's trip, uh, Pan was no longer chaotic evil. Lux is no longer a guy. And Gelsira is back to being a three foot halfling instead of a six foot halfling. Fulling. We'll call it a fulling. <laughs> And that's where we ended the episode with a belly full of food and some nice accommodations before we begin our next day's adventure to find um, Hollis, who was uh, just, what, one street uh, over up the block a little bit, who is the first point of contact who we're supposed to meet because we've got to go, I guess, let him know that we're here to speak to Dion, (coughs) the Oracle of Kosanis. And if you didn't listen to the bonus material... I believe that Prancing Centaur wasn't its name, but it was said, and then I was like, that's happening. I wrote it down that way. Um, We'll find out when I listen back to the last episode. Regardless of what we called it last episode, it's Prancing Centaur. Now know that it is the Prancing Centaur. (laughs) Just to clear up any confusion that may or may not occur. And this is why we do a Rico recap. Yeah. That way everybody is up to date. Shout out to Josh Elliott for listening. Thanks, buddy. Sup, Worshipful. Thanks, Josh. That was a pretty uneventful episode last episode. There wasn't a whole lot of action, a whole lot of combat. It was just mostly walking. It was like the first movie oh, of Lord of the Rings. Did, I did are you some, complaining? Wait. No. What about... <laughs> did, wait, did, I didn't catch a part about the weird monk we found on the road. Oh, yeah. There was a weird oh, monk, right? Because I, I wrote down a that. monk. Yeah, the the crazy other monk. I forgot about him. Oh, yeah. and we fought it, right? Yeah, yeah we, we fought him. it. Okay, so I wrote down monk, we killed, and then... Just gibberish. <laughs> oh, I didn't give you guys experience points for a monk. It was the I was like, did we kill a monk? monk or like did we kill something else monk? that I just write gibberish down? I did. Yeah, you weren't here last game to notice it. You're like two weeks behind. You're the worst. <laughs> yeah, none of us could talk to it. It didn't speak yeah, any languages. Well, it oh, spoke. yeah, that's right. Speak some kind of language, but like we didn't. We at didn't first, like, it. I don't want to fight it because it just, he just seemed confused and... Lost. Probably drunk. But then he did attack you, so... We gave him what for. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We killed the hell out of him. Yeah, and it's worth a 1,000 XP. Yeah, we killed him to death. (laughs) I think that's too far back in the book. It's not. 1,000? I thought it was more like 4,000. Yeah. No, you're right. Definitely, you're right. Yeah, I did my calculations. Yes. That crazy evil monk. It was kind of funny. It was like a Weekend at Bernie's type thing <laughs> with you last time. We were just kind of dragging you around. And, <laughs> it was oh, great. Isn't that how we got into the city? Is we told the guard that like <coughs> that you needed medical attention? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, something yeah. like that. That rings a bell. Yeah, because the guard was like, whoa, where are you guys? They're like, we need to get in. Like, our friend here is knocked out. We need to get her to Hey, um, so you no one, three no, get an additional so clear, 50 though. XP. Hell yeah. Um, oh, is it three? Okay. Never mind. I didn't. You guys did not seek medical attention for me. No. Okay. You are in no state Wait, to it? give medical attention. So you guys sure. wake up at the prancing pony. Prancing centaur. Prancing centaur. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the Lord of the Rings. Is that a thing? Yeah. Okay. What? Mm. The prancing pony? Okay, I thought you part of it. No, you're in you guys are in the prancing centaur. Right. Frodo went to the prancing pony. Got it. Okay. So you guys wake up and you're on the second floor of the oh. Prancing Centaur. Hold on, I've got to prepare my spells. I do too. Good job. Okay. I meditate. I'm going to wake up. <laughs> what the fuck happened? What? <laughs> do you wake up? I yep. Think, she wakes okay. up. Yeah. Oh, uh, well. You don't get so, to decide. <laughs> so do you remember that town said Burma? Not really. Well, basically we saved the day in there. And uh, something happened to Pan. He kind of sort of became chaotic evil. And then he knocked you out. And then he became good again. And we basically had been, just been dragging you along this whole time. It's actually how we got into the city. Because we told the guard that you needed medical You're help. You're welcome. Um, Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Why does but, my dick hurt? Um, but here Why do I are. have a dick? You no, don't. You don't anymore. Did I have one? You did. You, you did. did. Yeah. Wow. How was it? I don't remember. Oh, damn it! Okay, well, um, are we getting into any action? Well, we've got to go find Hollis. Are there like shops in this town and stuff? Yeah, is there like a place I could sell an emerald and a olive gemstone? Uh, that can't be right. Um, opal, uh, blue. I'm gonna prepare my spells. It's okay. blue. Has everybody prepared their spells? Uh, I'm, I keep I, I keep getting this down, this nonsense and then do it again. never and doing selling it, it and doing it well. Like a monster, or I find like a, a emerald and I'm like, sweet, 
sell that someday. And then I don't. So maybe I should. Who are you? You're trying to find Hollis. It's monotonous. Right? That's my goal is to find <coughs> Hollis. And where's Hollis supposed to be? He was you know, at uh, another time. building one road over and up the street. Go find Hollis, then go <coughs> shopping. We don't have okay. like an official building or anything. I'm going to prepare a locate object. Locate object? Yeah. What are you going to be looking for? I don't know. I thought we could maybe use it to find. But? May, I don't know. Maybe just this whole cloak thing. Do you think it's in this town? This was one. This Man, is the. Whatever. This is the uh, one of the towns that was on the list in that cave where the dragonborn were. There's Kosanus and then um, Amora Lonin. Uh, nope, Amora Lonia, and then Therium. All right, let's locate objects. I don't think it works like that. Uh, so if you roll a nat twenty, maybe. I mean, you can try. Who knows what'll happen? We're gonna go talk to Hollis, and we're gonna go oh, talk right. to Dion. All right, you want to do that I first? I want to cast, um, find, <laughs> uh, Nick with the harmonium. Does detect object work like that? I don't <laughs> think it works like that. What are you doing? I was just being silly. Being facetious? Do we want to go um, meet these people or try to talk to these people first or wander around town? Well, it's morning. We've got all morning. So I'm, I'm in no hurry. Okay. It's not like the Oracle is going to be leaving the temple anytime soon. All right. So it's you guys are still in your room. Party up. What are you guys doing? Um, is there a window in the room? There is a very tiny, it's a, um, they're actually slit windows. Okay. Um, I go up to the window and just look outside and see what I see. Okay. So you are actually in the, um, back of the prancing centaur and all you can see basically is a little small courtyard and there is a little small, um, there are some stalls. Oh. Enough to house maybe four horses, horses. in the back of the courtyard. Hmm. Okay. Should hey, we kill some horses? Hey, guys, just so you know, there's some stalls outside that have horses in them, maybe, probably. Cool. So okay. just just so you know, we have that option. Of stealing it's horses? Of stealing horses. Okay. <laughs> or I can just harm them. you notice that behind the stalls is just a big line of trees. Hmm. Okay. Also, there's some trees behind the stalls. Oh, like that you could pee on. <laughs> I mean, I was going to say we can hide in if we need to, but, you know. Do we need to hide? Well, I don't know. Not yet. Okay. We haven't displaced any governors in this town yet. <laughs> <laughs> he had it coming. <laughs> yeah, he was kind of a jerk. Uh, what else is, anything else in the room of any interest at all? Like, Your room is just a bed, okay. a small table with a water basin. Okay. Very well, plain. You're footing up the table, well, yo. Sorry. You guys want to go downstairs okay. and get some food or something? I would love okay. to get some breakfast. Yeah, it has been a while since we've had a good old home, you know, home cooked meal, hasn't it? Yeah, we I could mean, I fill up cooks, at breakfast and then not use any rations all day. We have a lot of gold. <laughs> <laughs> we do, but like everywhere we go, they don't want to sell us rations. It's weird. Well, you know, we got more gold now than ever before. I got about three. I've got a huge nugget of gold. At some point, I want to find out how much it's worth. One gold. There's probably a <laughs> jeweler somewhere in this yeah, town. Yeah, I think maybe a can... bank. Maybe, yeah, same or... place I could sell my um, emerald to. Yeah. The gems of various kind that you found? Yeah. I've got some sort of blue gemstone. Azurite? I don't know. I could go way back to find out what it was. Hmm. Oh. Go downstairs and have some breakfast. Get some, right. some real food because I'm tired of trail rations. All right. Let's go get some breakfast and uh, 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 rob some pegs. Because the last time we ate was in, uh, well, the last time they I fed ate us at the farmhouse. was Aspasia. Didn't they feed us at the farmhouse? I feel like they fed us at the farmhouse. I mean, farmhouse slop. Yeah, but it's food. Yeah, but I'd rather have like. You're saying the last time you had like real food. Real food was Aspasia. Hey, okay. barkeep, what you got? What's good today? Um, so you go downstairs and it's very <laughs> bright and sunny. And there's like great big windows in the front letting in lots of sunlight. Um, it's pretty warm outside, so there's no fire in the fireplace, but, um, all the tables are very clean, um, and there's actually nobody behind the bar right now. It's morning. Hmm. Um, but there are a couple of serving wenches coming in and out through a door that goes to the back. I pick a, a tabletop <laughs> and wait for a wench, yeah. and I'm going to do a little praying while I wait for a wench to come over. And a wench comes over and I'll says, sit down with good her. morning, folks. Yo, yo. Um, Hi. Today we are serving biscuits and gravy. Mm. Um, 
or porridge with chopped fruit and nuts. Mm. I'll take an order of both. Me too. It wasn't and or. It was just or. I think if I give them money, they'll (laughs) give me anything. I'd like some biscuits and gravy, please. I will also have some biscuits and gravy because that sounds amazing. So the serving wench kind of looks at the two ladies there. Like, sure you want that much food? (laughs) Okay. Um, I'm half weed. She goes back to the kitchen and then comes back out. She has um, just four cups of water. She gives all of you guys. Thank you. And she says, where are you you folks from? Beyond the mist. Oh, we have some challengers, huh? Uh, Well. Sure, why not? You we're tra- we're all we're you know not really in town for yeah games, we're not on so. any, any we're not really looking for anything we're not any kind of adventure we're just you know we're just simple folk just <laughs> walking around. You guys aren't mm-hmm. actually from the other side of the river, are you? Other side of the river? No, beyond the oh. mist. Well, no, um, that river's weird. All right, that river ain't nothing to mess with. Yeah, that's we basically stayed really far away from that river oh that's a true story i had a friend her brother tried to cross the river down here and he did not make it oh do you know what's across it like do you know have you heard anything about what's on the other side does anybody know just enyo territory oh we don't want to get wrapped up in that that's a big mess yeah, nobody wants to be with the wants to deal with the enyos oh no they're crazy heiress for life right anyway <laughs> anyway <laughs> thanks for the water yeah. She leaves, goes back. Um, and then after a few minutes, comes back out with your guys' food and sets it down and then proceeds to wipe off, you know, serve. A, there's um, four other people, two people at a couple of other tables. And so she pre- proceeds to serve them. I eat my food. Boom. Nailed it. Same. Role um, playing. I'm, just, I'm very slow eating my food. I start with the biscuits and gravy and then I'm going to have the. The fruit and nut porridge. I want to start up a conversation while we're here. With what the wench? G- no, with you guys. What What do you guys want to do? I don't, I'm a little not all here. Um, I want to sell an emerald. Maybe see if there's like a weapon shop in town. Okay. Yeah, maybe I kind of want to maybe see if there's a bank or a jeweler because I've got a nugget of gold. I want to see how much it's worth. Um, Pan? And, yeah, you've been kind of quiet, Pan. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm perfectly fine. Okay. I just need, well... I want to find Hollis so we can get access to Dion. Oh, of course. And where did they say Hollis was? I don't remember. I don't remember where. Okay. Christmas and well, Hollis. Well, maybe it was at the serving wench when she comes back. Yeah, see, we probably will. Because last time we struck up Hollis. conversation with patrons in a bar. Yeah, it didn't go so it well. It didn't go did so it. well with you guys. Um, we could just murder everyone in town. And no, then... we're absolutely not doing that. All right. Yeah, not this time. <laughs> we already ruined one <laughs> town. <laughs> I mean, I guess we did save a town, so that probably makes up for the fact that yeah, we're, we're uh, we're we've we've broken even. Yeah, yeah. we're the best. Actually, we've yeah, we've broken even. We're the best. All you right. Did... So so is that does that answer your question then, or are you yeah, good? Yeah. So is uh, the serving winch around? Can we like wave her uh, wave her over if we see her, but in a very polite way, yeah, not, not in rude. A rude way, but like uh, excuse me, twenty for charisma. Us. Charisma modifier. Oh, zero, so it doesn't matter. Eight? She doesn't see you waving at her. Mm, that's fine. I'll put my hand down. I don't want to cause a scene or be rude. <laughs> I'll just kind of continue looking at her, and maybe if she makes eye contact, and then I'll put I'll my put hand my up empty again. water cup at the end of the table <laughs> so that she knows I'm, I'm thirsty again. Gosh, this place is so neat, isn't it? It's so pretty in here. Just, yeah, it's the best. You know, like the sunlight, like, I don't know, it makes you think of home. And then the serving wench comes back seeing your guys' um, clean plates. This was so good. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, compliments to the chef. Do you enjoy working here? Oh, I love working here, and I love living in this town. Cool. Well, Can we ask you some questions about this town, quick ones, just like... We're curious about like, like, where we stuff busy, is because we're not from oh, here. Oh, we get lots of travelers, you know, being just right here at the beginning of the, sure. the entrance to the town. Do you know anybody named Hollis? Does that ring a bell? Hollis? What yeah. are you guys going to do with Hollis? We were informed that in order to seek counsel with Dion, the Oracle, we had to see Hollis first. Ah, you guys seek counsel with the Oracle. Yep. Um, roll a d20 for charisma. Me? Yes. Okay. 100. 21. <laughs> She's going to 
Yeah, cool. <laughs> 17 plus four. <laughs> um, and she says, yep, you definitely got to see Hollis in order to get to the Oracle. Um, uh, Hollis isn't always available. Available? What do you Probably mean? not she always gets... receptive to visitors either. Rob, she gets wrapped up in things a lot. What but does you know she what? Like and she looks do? at Pan and kind of kind of smiles at him a little bit. Mm. Oh, I will, I will she gently likes to be stroke her hand <laughs> with my hand as she's telling us about Hollis, okay. who I have now learned is a female. And and I'll smile at her. Let's him know. Well, you know, if you really want an audience with Hollis, the best thing to do is to take a really good bottle of wine. To Hollis? To Hollis. Yep. Mm. All right. So let's pop by that liquor store. Do you sell <laughs> bottles of wine here in this establishment? Oh, we don't. But if you go next door <coughs> to the tavern. Can you recommend um, a good bottle of wine that we could uh, buy from them? I don't really. I know that Hollis prefers sweeter things. Can't be nearly as sweet as you have been. <laughs> um. But because the tavern it. doesn't open until oh, midday. That was the best. Uh, but they'll they'll be able they'll know if you just just tell them that. Um, <laughs> so coming up. With Can we just say like that? J- just you, tell them you that recommended a, we're travelers <laughs> and you were me- recommended us. Laverne. Laverne. That's a terrible yeah. name. No, just just tell them that. Name. And just tell them that Shirley from the Prancing Centaur sent you. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Shirley from Prancing Centaur. Shirley from the Prancing Centaur. <laughs> Thank you so much Shirley. for your kindness. Um, yeah. is How there much a, do we owe you? Is, but, you know I'm what, Shirley? Quite... What kind of wine do you like? Unreal. <laughs> you know what? You do this to me all the time. I actually wanted more information. No, I actually don't really drink. Okay. Shirley, you know, how would I always have to get up early someone like myself... Find some way to bide my time before mid-afternoon. Well, you know, we've got a pretty wholesome town here. You know, pretty pre- peaceful. What time um, do th- you We do have quite a, a few shops. You know, if you just go out, just keep going down the road. There's stalls down the end from our market. And then there's different shops to the right and left. Oh, do you think I buy a new pair of shoes in this town? Oh, there is a cobbler. Oh, a peach right. cobbler. He makes shoes out is of. Is there fruit. a haberdasher <laughs> in town? <laughs> what about blueberry? <clears throat> there is now. Also, is there a jeweler? There is the jeweler. If you go down further into town and just go to the right, there's not very many streets here, um, so it's pretty hard to get lost. But if you go to the right, it'll be on your right. What about, okay, what about a bank? What do you need a bank for? To cash in my nugget of gold. No, you'll take that to the jeweler to get it appraised, and he'll probably buy it off of you. Well, I was, thought maybe they might try to rip me off. Well, backup plan. Is there a bank? Um, There is a money exchanger right next to the jeweler. I don't know why he's here, <laughs> hmm. but somehow he does enough business to keep him open, so. Any sites? Like, is there any cool statues or monuments or? What about temples? Temples? Um, We have a very small shrine here at the end um, past the town square. We just keep going. Just keep going further into town. Yeah, I'm sure the oracle is probably in some sort of temple. Yeah. Or maybe the cobbler. Could <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I want some peach cobbler. I know. Mm. Okay. Well, uh, thank you so much. Yeah, I'm going to pay my bill. Really. Yeah. How much do we owe you? Um. So that will be... You guys owe... Eight silver pieces a piece for staying the night, and another three silver pieces per meal. So, total. That's like one gold, one silver. Yep. Forty-two silver total. So four gold. Oh, I, total. I see. Okay, for all four of you. I just subtracted that from my total to pay my portion of the bill. You're not so poor anymore. Right. One gold, <clears throat> one silver. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. Here you go. A piece. Thank you. Yeah, also, I oh, I, and I throw in three extra silvers yeah, as a tip. Me too. I just basically throw in enough to make it two gold. Yeah, I round up me. to two gold. Yeah. Oh, thank you, folks. If you guys it's need like anything else, just one gold, one silver. Feel free to come silver. back. Well, you've been great. I just want to say your establishment is just so pretty. Like 
I love, oh, I we really do try. Let's just say, a, we're homely people, but we're very peaceful. Drachma. I love the windows. Like, you know, a lot of places like this are really dark. 150,000 drachma. You know, I dreary, but this place is just really, um, <laughs> you know, it's just very cheerful. But you have just, a, so much light. You have just, a, a pretty decent amount now. Yeah, I've got some. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Um, I... Is there a place that we all want to go together? Because I would like to visit a haberdasher. I need some new headgear after. Do you want to check in my head? You want to go to the tavern first and get the wine? Yeah, let's we'll do that. Yeah, let's do that Hollis first. A sacrifice. Yeah. Well, it's not open yet. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah but if call. if we tell them, uh, Shirley sent us. She she said that we could get in. Yeah, Shirley, the one. But they're not in. open yet. But they're not open yet. No, but Shirley implied that if we just tell them. That nope. they're there. No. Surely, then if you if you say I that, then they'll that? help you. Oh yeah, yeah. But there's nobody there right now. Okay, to um, help you. Well, it's okay. We can check out the cobbler in the meantime. I'm going to the haberdasher. Okay. Well, I'm going to stick together. So, um, I mean, I got nothing against going to look at hats real quick. Well, I don't know why. Like, why we can't just meet up, go shopping, and then meet up. Uh, I guess I mean it is a safe place to split up. What do you think? It's the only safe place. But to split but up, you know it's hard to say because things aren't always what they seem. Yeah, I mean either way. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna check out this cobbler. I'm gonna get new shoes. Okay, I'm gonna head down the street to the jeweler. All right, let's meet back at the tavern then. I guess. Yeah. What midday? Yeah. Okay. Around noonish. See you guys then. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh no! You guys split up. Now That's I have fun. to keep track of where you all are. Well, what is he? One percent at a time. All right. So yeah, Lux, Ari what are you and doing? Penn are going to go to the jeweler. Lux is going to go to the haberdasher. Okay. So Ari and Pan, you guys um, step out of the prancing centaur. You see to your left is back out of the town, and to the right is towards in town. Oh, I guess we got to go right to go into yeah, town. Go right hey. in town. Go ahead and roll for perception. Oh, I'm not very good at perception. Oh, 20. Never mind. I take that back. 19 plus 1. <laughs> that was a good roll. Okay. As you guys walk, of you what? notice on the 16. right side is the tavern that no. um, Shirley was talking about. Okay, I yeah, look there's... I look in it real quick to see yeah. if I can see inside it. It's pretty dark. This isn't... Like it's okay. all closed up. Chairs are on top of tables. Do I notice anything amiss? Nope. Okay. Cool tavern. Here it is. Noted. This is where we need to come back to. Okay, we keep going down the street to the right to the jeweler. Okay, so you head to the right and immediately on the right is the jeweler. Is it, are they open? They are open. Awesome. So Hot you dog. walk in and you get a little ding a ling a ling from the bell at the top of the door. Hello. And there's a little man on the other side of the counter with a little little thing in his eye. A little magnifying glass up, up to his eye and he's bent over and it's like he didn't hear you. Excuse me, sir. He still doesn't hear you. Okay. Um, is there like merchandise around? Um, it's just like one long, low counter. Um, and there are some shelves behind him with some like antique looking things. But that's about it. Okay. Well, I'll approach him while looking at his merchandise. I assume it's his merchandise. He's got the weird eye thing. Okay. You may have to show him your emerald to get his attention. I um, reach into my half bag of holding. <laughs> And pull out the emerald and uh, um, just kind of hold it out and uh, say, excuse me, sir, again. Doesn't do anything. Okay. I am. Um, this is weird. Um, is he looking at anything through his magnifying glass? Is his yep, attention affixed on something? He's um, got three little pieces of a something, maybe jewelry. You're not quite sure what it is that he's looking at right now. How close am I to him right Let now? Let me see your emerald. Here you go. I'm going to set it... Next to the three pieces of jewelry. So maybe his eye will glance over it while he's looking through the pieces of jewelry. <laughs> he doesn't notice it. We could just steal everything in here. Apparently he wouldn't notice that we'd be taking... I mean, we could walk out richer than we were. And you hear I mean, him kind of mumbling ignored. to himself like he's taking down like measurements or something. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll just wait for a little bit. Not a long time, but you know, I don't want to interrupt him if he's taking down measurements or something or doing something important. But... These look like interesting pieces of jewelry. What are they? And I'll go to reach for one of the, one of the three pieces. How are you saying it? What language am I saying it in? No, like how are you saying it? Oh, with his mouth. Um, with vocal cords. Intrigue and curiosity. Like 
wow, these are interesting looking pieces of jewelry. What what do they go to? What I, are they I for? I want you to really say it into the microphone. I didn't I? But like say it with feeling. Say it again. <laughs> <laughs> these are some interesting pieces of jewelry. Oh what do they go to? As your volume gets louder, he jerks up and goes, Oh, oh, what? What'd you say? <coughs> And he actually reaches under the counter and pulls out an old-fashioned horn and puts it up to his ear. (sighs) Hello, sir. I was just remarking at how interesting (laughs) these pieces of jewelry were. These jewelry? Rubbish. (laughs) What were they for? What did they go to? Ah, some girl getting in a pickle, trying (laughs) (laughs) trying to see if she can... Pull one over on me, you know, just because she's got something in the oven doesn't mean I need to be giving out like some <laughs> some charity. What do I look like? You look like a fine jeweler. I have an emerald. <laughs> would you be Would you be interested in taking a look at my emerald? Ah, let me see that. There you go. And he grabs it out of your hand, and he puts his magnifying glass, and he says, "This this is a fine looking emerald." Thank you. Isn't it? We pulled it out of a slime by Pelican Town. <laughs> Did you wash it? Absolutely. Is it still slime on it? No, no. no. We no. washed it. Ah, it's we worth more it. if there's still slime on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's definitely not, and I'm sorry, but how much is it worth, do you think? And he puts it in his pocket. How many do you write that down? No. Ah, damn it just it. Hold have on. an emerald. <laughs> you should have written it down. It didn't know, no, but it was not told to I me. I told you. I thought I did. Yeah, you did. No I way. totally did. And then I was like, you don't know that. And then Pan was like, you don't know that. Well, then I don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I need more gold so I can upgrade my armor. Why do you need more gold? Find so the I can fucking upgrade my robe. armor. Haven't I given you enough gold? I haven't taken any gold. I've just been giving gold out and being robbed by whores. <laughs> I need 1,500 gold. I cast give 1,500 gold. Okay, well, the DM <laughs> doesn't remember how much the emerald is worth, so she is going to roll. It is worth seven gold pieces. If we were interested in selling that emerald, how much would you give us for it? I'll give you five. You make a profit of two? That's not bad. That's a pretty good deal, Ari. You should take it. Well, I mean, you don't really have a choice, sir. You've put it in your pocket. We will take that five gold. <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean? I don't have a choice. I now have the emeralds. And you are in my town. Oh, that's fair. All right. Well, I'll be right back. Um, Ari, you stay here. I'm going to go get the guards and let them know that they've, um, that this gentleman has stolen your property. And he puts five gold <laughs> on the counter and pushes it towards you. He goes, look, there, I paid oh, you. Oh, fantastic. And the, dunge- and the Dungeon Master's Guide to Cut Emerald is 1,000 GP. Well, she rolled, so I it's worth five. Said, cost oh. each. I don't remember. I'm remembering it being more than what I'm telling you, but this is like kind of a, you know, he's not going to tell you how much it's actually worth. But there's a big difference between five and a thousand. It's not a thousand. I remember it not being a thousand. Oh, was he fucking around? I remember it being like 30 or something. Oh. Yeah. Like maybe 300 GP even is what I'm seeing. Maybe so like 300. It's, it's a lot. I remember a three. Well, you got not five. five not taking five. I will cut this dude's face off. <laughs> no, you won't. The emerald is worth more than five, sir. No, oh, let me look at it again. It's worth a lot more ah! than five. And he pulls the emerald out of his pocket. This is my don't favorite that, NPC so far. Don't put that back in your pocket. <laughs> Looks at it again as he kind of backs up a little bit so you can't reach him over the counter. Don't think you're out mm. of my reach. Hmm. And then he actually pulls out some tools from underneath the the um the counter and he kind of taps it a little bit with one little hammery tool, kind of picks at it with another one, pushes it around a little bit. <sighs> well, it's already cut in a really nice shape. Yeah. It's beautiful. Hmm. But it's a dry season. It's the middle of the season. Everybody's farming. Nobody's going to come and buy this piece right now. I'll give you 10 gold for it. I'll sell it to you for 200 gold. Nah, nah. Give it back. This ain't worth 200 gold. Let's just give it back then. I'll take it back. It's my emerald. He puts it back in his pocket. All right, sir, you can give me that emerald back. (laughs) Um, Or we're going to have a problem. And he pulls out another five gold and puts it on the counter. No, I just said 200. I mean, we can can negotiate in earnest. um, He says, are you trying to cheat me? No, you're trying to cheat me. Guards! It's, it's my emerald. Michael! Adonis! 
I will kill all your guards. Do I notice a scuffle beginning to happen? No, you're not here. I know. I, I am trying to sell like, an emerald that's worth a lot of money. Down the street. Well, we're right. going to pause with you guys here. And we're going to go to Gelsira. Gelsira, where are you? There's I'm, no way you're going to get full value for um, that emerald in yeah, this little town. I was offering town. for 200. Yeah. It's I'm worth on my way at to least 300. The, no, it's uh, not. It's she not didn't say it was worth 300. Well, then she's wrong because it's when it's worth uh, it's an emerald. Money exchange. I rolled for it, okay? <clears throat> okay, well, I'm not taking five for an emerald. I'll he gave you it. 10. I'm, I'm offering 10. Yeah, and I'm going to go ahead and take it. Maybe I'll sell it to a different jeweler somewhere else. Okay, um, I I want to go to the money exchange. It's a little town. Maybe you should wait till like a capital city or something. Bored. Or maybe it'll get stolen. Who or knows? I'll kill this guard. You might get and, nothing and out of him it. And take all his. Sorry, Galsira. Sell it to okay. someone else. Your turn. Um, I'm going to the money exchanger. Okay, so you actually pass the jewelers do I, right next door. Do I notice anything in the jewelers? Him? Um, as you're passing the jeweler, ju- jewelers, so sorry. Um, you actually start hearing just you know very loud talking, uh, well, as if somebody can't hear very well. <laughs> well, I'm sure that's probably just pain in our age, just you know, being, being really kind of excited and you know just having a good old time with the jeweler. I'm sure they're fine. I want to go see how much this nugget's worth. So I want to. I, so, okay. and so you go right next door to the. There is a money exchanger. Okay, right next door. Right next door. Good. Um, is it open? It is. Okay. Well, I open the door and walk inside. And there's nobody there. But I'm inside, right? Right. Okay. Uh, is there like a, like a bell on the counter or like, anything? Any. Um, as you walk in, a little tinkling, tinkle, tinkle, from the bell on the door, kind of rings. Okay. But nobody's, nobody hears it. Nobody, nobody hears it. You're just standing there by yourself for the moment. Okay, why well, yell? Like, hey, is anybody back there? And all of a sudden, here, a what? I <laughs> guarantee he's the same guy. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> Turns out he's the cop. And Pan and Ari and are looking at the, their guy as he's going, what? <laughs> <laughs> and all of a sudden he goes, hold on, hold on. And don't think I'm trying to cheat you. And he puts the emerald up on a shelf behind him. And then he goes out. He goes through a door on the right. And Gelsira sees him come in. <laughs> oh, hi. What can I do for you? What can I do for you? I'm very busy, 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 busy. What do you need? Oh, well, if you're busy, I don't want to bother you. I do have this nugget of gold. I was thinking about cashing Gold, in. eh? Yeah. I was going to see if it's worth it. Like, if I could cash it in for some gold pieces. But if you're too busy, it's okay. I can go somewhere Nah, else. nah, nah. And then he pulls out a set of scales underneath okay. the counter. And he says, put it on the scale. Tell you what, got this emerald. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. um, And I, so I go ahead and put it on the scale. Oh, this is a very hefty nugget of gold. Oh, so it's probably worth like, what, a thousand GP, I bet? Well, you go, yeah. And he looks at it through his little eye microscope and goes, hmm, hmm. A little bit. It's 15 ounces. And that's going to exchange with this. And I could go and give it to this person. I could buy my mega salt to this person. <sighs> no, they won't be around. Oh, it's going to be hard to sell it this time of year. I'm going to have to hold on to it. And, oh, but if I hold on to it, maybe I can get a little more worth it. All right. Um, um, and then finally, he looks back at you and. Um, he says, all right, I can probably exchange this in for, for 15 gold. Hmm. So I'll give you 12. Hmm. Um, you look like a nice lass. Thank you. You little, little short person. He kind of looks down on you. Hmm. Well, thank you. And you look like a very, very accomplished, very esteemed Money exchanger. I am. Um, I am. The only one in town. Well, I definitely don't want to question your expertise on this matter. I mean, I'm just kind of a dumb halfling from the woods. So I don't really know much about economics and currency. And uh, I mean, 12, 12 gold is, uh, I mean, really, I should only be giving you 10, but I'll give you 12 for it. I feel sorry for you. You feel sorry for me? 
What do you feel sorry for me for? Ah, you're so short. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is me talking to the DM. I would like to cast a spell. I would like to cast Charm Person. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and he opens his mouth and pulls out a couple of gold coins. Of his mouth? Yep. What? That's All weird. right, this dude's out of his mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So 14 instead of 12 then? Hmm. Yes. So did the charm person work? Sure. Okay. <laughs> uh, so is he charmed right now? Wait, what was your score for charm person? Go, Sarah, what's your, what was your score? Uh, it was 12, right? Yes, 12? so the person needs to beat a 12 on a, a Who dice gets roll. the advantage? Nobody gets advantage. So do I have to beat her? You would have to roll a 12 or better on a so d20. So if I roll a 12, I win. Yes. Okay. And then you're and then you're not charmed. He is not charmed. Darn. That sucks. <laughs> That's not very high at I all. Rolled no, 12. It's not. <laughs> I, I know, but I thought that like your thing was going to probably be like 17 or better. I know. I was expecting like a higher number, but which is fine. I think it's cuz you're like, you know, I mean you're still only level 3. Low level. Yeah. Darn, oh well. I bet that goes up as you. Of shit. Oh well, it's worth a shot, I guess. But he did pull out a two extra gold out of his mouth. <laughs> for your <laughs> That's trouble. So weird. For your trouble. So you can okay. get fourteen gold for this. <sighs> well. I mean, I feel like you guys are getting a lot of gold, so Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. I've <laughs> I've thought about your offer and um like I said, I don't really want to question your expertise. Oh, so. thank you, thank you, thank you. He shoves the, he takes the gold out of your hand and shoves the fourteen gold pieces towards you. Yeah, no gold's worth a lot. Oh, by the leaves way, leaves out oh, of a side wait, door. Sir? Nope, he's gone. Oh darn. Okay, sorry. Uh, all right. Well, I go ahead and since I noticed that they're next door, I go ahead and go next door to the jewelers. And, <laughs> and as you come in to the jeweler, I, wa- I want my emerald back, please. I'm not selling it to he you comes for that in. pittance you are offering me. <laughs> And he goes, ah, I got another another bargain. So he pulls the emerald off the shelf and kind of tosses it back to you. Yeah. And I put it back in my puts puts his magic gold bag back of holding. in his purse because the gold was still sitting there on the counter. <laughs> Whoa, he says, know- off with you. If you got nothing else, off with you. <laughs> Whoa, I know well, this, I'm out. I know this guy. This guy's a money exchanger. I was just next door and he's the same guy. Yeah, he's a scam artist. I mean, he he is. I did get fourteen gold out of him, so you got ripped interestingly off. enough, Galsira. That's about what it was worth. Nice. <laughs> it, he's kind of a weirdo, though. Like he took two gold pieces out of his mouth and gave it to me. I don't know about this guy. Yeah, maybe see what he gets out. Some of his history mouth for you. on Greece <laughs> that I just learned was that the poor would actually carry money in their mouths because they couldn't afford a purse. Interesting. Why don't they just it. carry it Fucking in their hand disgusting. like a normal person? Because, you know, they might get knocked or something. Creeps. I don't know. Jesus That's Christ. what they did. Um, all right, so I'm, I'm leaving this jewelry shop with my yeah. beautiful emerald. He's kind of a jerk. Like, he was sort of discriminating against me because I'm so short. Maybe I'll find a, a better buyer in the capital. <laughs> well, that was fun. So I, I, I still You probably don't have much a, use for a, a, a fine stone like this anyway in this kind of establishment. Might not know what to do with it. I'm leaving. Okay, so you guys are on the road and um, on the yeah the street. And Pam, when you, you look have business right, with the jeweler? no, can I no, do no. something? In a second, <laughs> we will get to you. <laughs> I promise you will you will get to you. Uh because I want I want to describe it to them so they can decide what they're going to do while we're having your turn. Okay, does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Okay, I appreciate that. So when you guys come out to the right, you see that the road goes a little bit farther down. And it ends, but then continues to the left. Um, across from you is kind of just a general goods store. Um, and to the left, um, the road continues down where you start to see kind of the beginning of maybe a central type square stalls or market. But the road does continue down right from there. Hey, guys, do you want to okay. go into maybe the, the general goods store to get some more rations and stuff? Um, I mean, since we're here, may as well. Right? We definitely need some more rations for sure. I mean, the Kay. rations seem pretty straightforward. I don't know that they can rip us off for rations. Yeah, I would to visit the cobbler, too, at some point. Yeah, yeah of course, of course. Kay. So you guys head that way. All right, Lux. 
I want to go to the haberdasher. <laughs> haberdasher. Right, so haberdasher. you, um, you exit the prancing centaur, go right. Um, until you get to the main intersection and then go left and you actually, um, on your next street, you go right because you, for somehow you got directions from the wench. Um, and you see that there's a cobbler and a haberdasher right next to each other on the left, but little, kind of little small shops. Love them. You know, a little small. And so you walk into the haberdasher. Okay. Uh, is the haberdasher around? Okay. What's a haberdasher again? A hat maker. Hat maker. Hat maker. They go okay. mad. So you walk in and um, you get like a this big whiff of leather. <sighs> okay. Lots of leather. Lots of oil. Love this leather. Um, there's like a T word. The chemicals. Tannery? Tanner, maybe. Um, and you see a man kind of crouched over. There's a couple of benches. There's a few benches with little tabletops just right next to them. And you see a man with kind of needle and thread currently working on a men's hat. Okay, I approach the haberdasher. Hi, good sir. How are you? Hey there. And he kind of finishes a couple of stitches and then sets it down. He looks up. He goes, what can I do for you? Good morning. Hi there. I am in the market for a unique and local... Uh, new hat. I just, I just had a pretty bad head injury, and trying to uh, uh, make you know feel a little good about it. So a little uh, background about me. Maybe this can help because I I appreciate the artisans of a town. I um, uh, Weejas is my uh-huh. is my goddess, and I have a couple of trinkets um, that could potentially go on a hat. Um, and I, uh, I'm, you know, quite tall. I'm about, uh, seven and a half feet tall. Uh, so I have a pretty big slender head. Any suggestions? What, what, what do you want this hat for? I just want to feel a little bit better and also a little protection for my head. It's a little sensitive right Ah. now. I feel I'm pretty concussed. Looking for protection. (laughs) Yeah. But I uh, um. and and also I like to I like to be comfy and current. Okay. But I wouldn't hate a reminder of the divine presence. So I had mm. with. Uh, so you're looking for more of like a leather helmet. But pretty. Oh. We don't do pretty. Oh, that might cut co- what? He kind of looks at you a little weird. Well, well, he looks up at you. <laughs> what if you just glued a trinket to it? Is it the jeweler? <laughs> What? No, it is not the jeweler. No, he was too easy to get. get <laughs> He's the only person there. living in this town. <laughs> I mean, that would be hilarious. <laughs> He's just running around, um, chasing adventures have, into places. He goes, "Well, I don't, I don't know if you're at the right place. I do I work him, with the armor nice. quite a bit, and can maybe make you." A leather helmet. I have. Uh, I also have these. Feet? Uh, no. Uh, it's called sun. holy cloth. Human feet. Could you put Your some of feet. that? Could you incorporate some of that into hmm. it? I think. I think I could. In fact, I think I might collaborate with the cobbler next door. Oh, lovely! Because I would love a pair of boots too. Kind of. The you know, cobbler might stop and listen. Things up. So. D- would you? I have so um, these holy cloths, <laughs> and I wouldn't hate getting a pair of boots and a hat with those incorporated into it. And I do have quite a bit of gold on me. You okay, dummy? This what? is Rico telling Jenna. Don't let them know how much money you have. You just talked yourself into paying probably three or four times more I than what that s- crap is worth. Okay. I wanna yeah. So he pulls <laughs> out kind of well, a lesson tape. learned. Lesson learned. Let's pull us pull us, pulls out a measuring tape and kind of start measuring your head. It's kind of really awkward because he's having to like really stretch. He has like up. to have a step stool. Yeah. Do you want me to bend down? Lift no, him up. No, you I you Lift have to up. you have to be straight so that your head is at the right angle. Got it. Lift him. And all that. Okay. And he takes some measurements. 
And I also hand over my holy cloths. Okay, he looks at your holy cloth and he says, hold on a second and goes to the door and the sidewall. <laughs> it's kind of a theme here in the city. <laughs> yeah. Everything's connected. Um, and comes back, he says. Cobb wearing the hat or the same person. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's got two jobs. Everybody's yeah, got two jobs. <laughs> Double shops. And he comes back. <laughs> the wench and is says, the one that works at the tavern. <laughs> tell, tell me I sent you. <laughs> <laughs> or it's her twin Laverne. Yeah. Oh <laughs> I'm never going to have to make that happen. Know, like, gonna, that's got to be right. a thing. Um, so he comes back. He says, ah, normally, so I would charge about 10 gold for a leather helmet. Um, but you're asking for a little bit more specification and a little more um, involvement, so it will be 15 gold. With, sh- with some boots, too? I need mm. this in my life. And he goes back to the door, and he comes back, and he says, do you need these boots to, you know, do anything specific? I see, I see that you're an elf. Asses. I am an elf. He says, well, you know what? I actually... I actually have a pair of boots. Um, the the cobbler actually has a pair of boots in the back. Let, let me go see if they'll fit you. And he leaves. He comes back again. <laughs> um, with a pair of, they, they look like leather boots. But they're actually made of stone. <laughs> he says, try these on. Tonight looks like Okay, I try them fishing. on. Okay, roll a d20. <laughs> let me see. Constitution. 16. And they fit perfectly. Fuck, that's good salsa. So glad, glad you like it. Okay, they, these boots we use fit fresh oh, perfectly. You know what? I am very pleased. Okay. It's so I've got. I want such you to roll a d twenty for perception. You've got such talking into microphone, like the side. Well, and really you notice you don't say anything, but you notice that these are actually a pair of boots of elven kind. Okay, you <laughs> they're, know what? They're buddy? made of elves. I think that these are. Uh, I think we just sent me here. I would love to pay you handsomely for these. How much will you will you pay for the Unreal. boots? Boots and total? Do you want my what I my budget? I, I, I want I want you to I want to know how much you pay for the boots. Spend all our money. Uh, because they're on your feet right learn. now. They are. Um, for the boots, fifteen. Yeah. I will take fifteen gold. Okay, so thirty total. Thirty total. And so yes, thirty total for the helmet and boots. Dang it! Would you do twenty seven? I'll I'll bring you business. I got a friend that wants a cobbler. <laughs> I will make you the helmet, and then if you bring a friend, I'll bring it down to twenty seven. Got it. But I need you to pay the fifteen for the boots. You got it. Okay, so you hand over fifteen for the boots. Okay, I uh, thank him very kindly. He's going to have to make my hat anyway. Right. So I... Oh, hold on. Before you leave, when do you need this hat by? <laughs> I have to make this thing from scratch. Afternoon. And he looks at you like you're cold. <laughs> Crazy! I can have it ready for you by tomorrow evening. <laughs> he's got he's to hand sew this thing. That's true. <laughs> Are we going to be here? We don't know. Yeah, you I think we'll now. probably be here. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. We've, you know, we've been. Yeah, we okay. That's do. cool, buddy. We got lots. I'll to do. bring that. I'll bring my friend real quick. Key among them is. Okay. is I've got my measurements down. I'll begin um, as soon as I'm done with what I'm working on now. Thank you. Okay, I run out and uh, they're on their way to the cobbler. I don't well, know that, we but the general store. I. Yeah, the oh, okay. I um. What? What? Okay. Nothing. Just. When you look up what the boots of elven kind do, it's ridiculous. I rolled for it. Okay. Yeah, no, it's that's it's a good. It's good. It's really good. Sweet. So I um uh am wearing the boots. I go. The fact that she notices what they are was a good thing too. <laughs> um, I go outside and kind of look around to see if I can okay. see the guys. So I'm going to describe to you what you see. And then I'm going to go back to them, okay? Okay. Okay. So you step outside, and right across from you is... There are a lot of taverns in this town. (laughs) FYI. There is a tavern 
which what appears to be rooms above it. Tavern and Shirley. <laughs> Tavern, that's really what this town oh. is. Good wow. <laughs> um, Okay. Um, so there's a tavern right across from you. The road continues um, so on the right <laughs> is to the intersection and past that's kind of the street kind of goes down a little bit. I was just thinking that. Yeah. And to the left, roll for perception. 28. 15. Okay. You notice that next door to the tavern, like the tavern in front of you kind of looks like a well-kept nice regular tavern with rooms above it right um but right next door for some reason it catches your eye it's another tavern but it's much smaller dingier darker like you might not want to go there kind of tavern Dark like eh. where the uh, outlaws meet it's exactly her kind of place yeah and mm-hmm. and you. the road continues further down on the left just as some apartments and stuff and that's what you see are do we ready I know for ending, that or a, do you guys get another? Do I know that there's a general turn? good store around? I mean, that no. seems like an awful place to end, so. Okay. Well, you guys are in the general good store, right? Yep. Okay, so you go in. Do you have rations? <gasps> we do. How much are your, how much, uh, whatever they cost? Do you have a menu? Pan, will you help me out here? The problem is, is this thing is in the player's guide. Yeah, I'm already pulling up the equipment now. Thank you, Pan. I mean, Rico's doing the looking. Pan ain't doing shit. Yeah, Pan has the players. <laughs> One day of rations is five silver pieces. There you go. How, do you have Do you have a lot? Do you have an inventory? Like, if I wanted to buy like ten, do you have enough? You would have to ask. Are you asking the person? Yes. Do you have Do you have enough rations that I could buy ten and not deplete your stock? Because my friends probably also would like to buy some. He so looks at we're you when he says, rations. "It's It's been a very lean season." We have ten ra- ten sets of rations left. I say we just buy them all. Yeah, can we can we have all the rations, please? Yeah. How much of the rations? Five silver, Five silver piece. pieces. Five silver pieces. And he says I can sell them to you for six silver pieces because there really just isn't a whole lot. I can Supply sell demand. these for more to six, other people. Six total. Oh, well. You got it. Six yeah. six silver no. pieces for ten rations for each. So sixty. Oh, sixty well, that's not what silver you said, pieces. So. Six gold then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, if we divide it between... I, I can sell these rations for more just to the townspeople. <sighs> I'm over it. I don't want these rations now. I can make some later. It's been a lean season. Well, we are out of rations. I don't think they're we're out. Not. I think we've got like four they days. Have four each and I okay. have eight. Okay, well... We re-upped what a little what before. Else? I just, um, this what town else is do you have for sale here? I'm weird. curious. Um, You see, he's got just kind of a bunch of just random stuff. He's got ran rations he's got feed he's got clothing when we get to a bigger town i'll look for healers kits yeah maybe we should just go to the cobbler yeah we might be back we might not maybe i can find some cool are you looking for anything in particular well i can't buy those those rations no i'm not gonna buy those rations okay not for six a piece okay so while i i'm just sitting outside uh of the cobbler Why does, doing like, the a little freaking meditating. equipment have a number, a page number hidden? I'm so sorry, Jennifer, for talking over you. You have okay. it marked with a blue paper. You do. I saw The it. problem is I have everything marked with a freaking blue paper. <laughs> I got a little pap- sticky note happy. Yeah, the cobbler, if you just could, if you just go out and go to the right, continue down two roads, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then they'll be on your left. Okay, thank you so much for your directional assistance. Okay. Are you guys looking for anything else? No. Okay, Jenna. I'm outside of the cobbler because I know that they're on their way and I'm just taking a few minutes to to meditate. Okay. You notice that there's actually a tiny little fountain um, right in between the taverns oh. um, with a little bench. That'd be a good spot to meditate at. Ah, I'd like to go sit there. Go do that. Yeah. Okay. Do we make it to the cobbler? You make it to the cobbler. I actually go into the haberdasher. Okay. <laughs> so you're in the haberdasher, but nobody's there. Right. Um, I That's go into, as I, expected. I go inside the cobbler. <laughs> and there's a little man I there. go in with her because I get a discount. Yeah. Um, I want you to roll a d20. Roll well. Because you're about to be made into a shoe. 
Yeah. I should, didn't either, so what'd you roll? You should train your dice. I rolled a three. <laughs> oh. And you scare Gelsira. <laughs> Jelly! Because she didn't realize you were there. Oh my gosh. Who but, immediately, Gelsira, uh, what's a weapon you have? Uh, a short bow. You're Not in. besides bows. Do you have like a knife? Yeah, I've got a knife. Okay. She pulls out her knife and um, Gelsira, roll a d20 for me. Uh, 16. Do I have a modifier? Uh, no. Okay. And hits you and does one damage oh, no. with her knife. <laughs> Dude. Oh, my gosh. Lux, I'm so sorry. God. Jeez, you know, we've been through so much. Like, I'm a little jumpy. You know, I'm sorry. <laughs> but, like, you can't just come up and scare yeah, me like that. Yeah, you're right. I'm s- you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my but, bad. I mean, it is good to see you. Um, <laughs> hey, yeah. She so was easier to manage when she was knocked out. We could always do that again. I'm going <laughs> to. I'm just going to. Uh, can you help me? Um, I told this guy that you're looking for some shoes, and he's gonna give me a discount for bringing a business. Oh, oh, this guy, the short guy up there at the counter. Yeah. Okay. So okay. we need to and go in together. As you, as you Hello. Both go in. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lux, you realize that it's the same guy from the Haberdasher. <laughs> and he says, "Hello, you're back. I brought my friend. Hi, you did bring your friend. This what can my I friend do for Jelly. you? Oh, do you know Lux? Was she? she I do. I'm customers? making her a helmet. Oh, fun. And he sold me these pretty great shoes. Whoa, this is some pretty. This is some pretty. Um, some pretty cool kicks. Yeah, yeah. you know what's so strange? They don't make a single sound." Huh, interesting. <laughs> so silent right now. <laughs> well, I love it. Um, you know, which I, is surprising that I well, that's probably why I snuck up on you. Yeah, well, anyway, you couldn't hear yeah, me. it's probably um, why. Yeah. Anyway, Mr. Cobbler, um, we've been doing a lot of walking these last few days and my feet are just really tired. Do you have a good pair of shoes that are just really comfortable? Need some new balance. Could maybe also be good for like Dr. rugged Shows. terrain, you know, cuz we have some more adventures in hmm, store for us. I've got a f- couple boots in back but not many you know most people get them made to order let's go ahead and roll a d20 no and modifiers you're tiny so yeah you're pretty small roll a d20 again oh, why do i have such bad rolls it's sick. Yeah. You should all right I am. he I'm says my i don't have anything <laughs> available right now that will fit you okay he d- but he's doing custom stuff for my hat maybe he could i do- can make you a pair um, it will take well, two days well, I don't know how long we're going to be in town. Well, we got to be um, here at least till tomorrow evening. Why is that? Two days my for little done. halfling boots? Yeah, but sh- he also has to make the leather helmet for her. Oh, my God. You bitches are so needy. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna if I'm willing to stick around for that one. No, it should I, be all right. I was hoping that he would have had something. Oh, it should be all right. We'll, we'll run into adventures here in Cosinus. You, two days is perfectly fine. Hmm. Um. Okay. Well, this is a comfy. If you guys town, really want your so. hats and boots, two days is fine. I do. Okay. Because I mean, we're still. Because he's got to make the boots after he makes our helmet. Yeah. Right. We're I still mean, we're still sixteen days out from our deadline, so we've got time. Yeah. I mean, this is a comfy little town, you know, and. I have a feeling we've got some adventures here for us. It's so. like the nicest town we've been to. Yeah. So far, yeah. Um. Okay. Sure. I'll, how much? Wait. Well, Except how much are they going to be? A little bit of discrimination that Jelly got. <laughs> yeah. I'm. A, I'm still. A, I mean, he was old though. You know. Yeah. I mean, He'll die. He was old timey yeah, racist. Yeah. That's right. true. Right. He did, I mean, he <laughs> met well. Yeah. <laughs> so leather armor, a full set of leather leather armor. Only cost ten gold. What the? And a full fuck? piece of leather armor would be helmet, chest piece, pants, and feet. So if she's just getting some leather shoes, you take that ten and you divide it by four, and you're looking at what, like two and a half gold? Yes. Okay. He'll say two gold. What the there fuck? You go. I got. <laughs> no, yeah, well, you didn't get jet. You were the you dummy that, that said, "I him. have so much I money. Well, I would be so I happy really wanted to pay whatever price are, you want." He goes special. Well, pieces. I'll give you the discounts, and she's bringing in, you know, an extra perk, you know, extra. Thank you. Thing that I'll only charge you two gold. Oh, never, two gold. Never um, announce how much money you have in a town full two of gold. I, you all signed up with boots of elven kind. Are you I complaining? Did. No, I'm not. Yeah, okay. That's a wondrous item. I mean, They're actually pretty pro. Two gold. That's it's a good item. Uh, so two gold. That's like two thirds of my total amount of money I have. But okay, sure. What? That seems like a nice pair of boots. Though. Somehow Galsara doesn't have a lot of gold. Yeah, what happened? You had fifty. You literally had 
Oh, oh. gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Only Gelsira is actually trying to play up. I love it. And I was, just, and I'm just like, all right. What? Like, wait, did you get well, robbed when we weren't? I've got a lot of orders to go on, on so I've got to get going. Okay, and it go uh, leaves. Well, I'll wait for you to your boot making. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. That'll and, do us tonight. For <laughs> well, hold on. If do I need to give you the other twelve? Gold so close. <laughs> no, because he doesn't have your helmet ready. Got it. Yeah. Okay. It's a good place to wrap. As good a place as any that we're going to get yeah. before it goes on for another hour. <laughs> and that'll do us this evening for another episode of Some Would Play. Please listen next week as the ladies in the party get dolled up for our adventure to go <laughs> meet Hollis. Uh, thanks for listening. And you guys will hear from us next week. Have a great evening, everybody. Bye. Gracias. Bye. 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 Oh, wait, wrong show. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Thank you for listening to Some Would Play, a production of the Outsanity Network. Join us again next week as the story continues. Find us online at www.somewouldplay.com and be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Some Would Play. Deborah is at Sonia Taki. Rico is at R1C0. Jenna is at Jenna Toll. Daphne is at Dafterthought. And I am Psychedelic M. If you enjoy the show, please tell your friends and share it with others. And remember, in real life, you needn't roll for initiative, so just seize it. Thank you.